It is common to see a green cover growing over rocks, bricks and walls after heavy showers. This green cover is nothing but moss, which is a type of bryophyte. Bryophytes are plants that usually grow in damp, humid and shaded localities. They are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because though bryophytes grow in soil, they need a moist habitat for sexual reproduction. Let's now take a look at the different parts of a bryophyte. The plant body is thallus-like and is either prostrate or erect. It is attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. The plant body does not have true roots, stem or leaves but possesses similar structures. The main plant body of a bryophyte is haploid. It is also called a gametophyte as it produces gametes. The plant body has both male and female gametophytes which bear the male and female sex organs respectively. The male sex organs are called the antheridia and they produce biflagellate antherozoids. The female sex organs called the archegonia are flask shaped and each produces a single egg. During fertilization, the antheridium releases antherozoids in water where they come into contact with the mouth of the archegonium. One antherozoid fuses with the egg to form a zygote. The zygote in turn produces a multicellular body called the sporophyte. The sporophyte gets its nutrition from the gametophyte. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo meiosis to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce a gametophyte. Bryophytes are of two types, liverworts and mosses. You can find liverworts in moist and shady environs such as barks of trees. The plant body, a thallus, is dorsiventral and oppressed to the substrate. However, in the case of leafy liverworts, the plant body bears tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Liverworts reproduce both asexually and sexually. In the case of asexual reproduction, we observe fragmentation of the thallus. Asexual reproduction also occurs when gemmae are formed. They are green, multicellular, asexual buds that separate from the parent and develop into new individuals. They develop in small receptacles called gemma cups located on the thallus. In the case of sexual reproduction, the male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or on different thallus. Mosses are another type of bryophytes. Funaria, Polytrichum and Sphagnum are some common species of moss. A moss undergoes several stages in life, wherein the gametophyte stage is the most predominant one. The gametophyte stage has two substages, protonema and leafy stage. In the protonema stage, the spore develops into a protonema, a thread-like chain of cells. The protonema is creeping, green, branched and filamentous. The second stage is the leafy stage where the primary protonema develops into the secondary protonema as a lateral bud. The buds consist of upright, slender axes 
that bear spirally arranged leaves attached to the soil through branched rhizoids. The sexual organs develop during the leafy stage. Mosses reproduce vegetatively and sexually. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation and budding in the secondary protonema. In sexual reproduction, the male and female sex organs are produced at the apex of the leafy shoots. Let's now look at the uses and importance of bryophytes. Moss such as sphagnum provides peat, which is used as fuel. Moss also form a dense mat, thereby allowing rainwater to percolate into the ground. This prevents rainwater from running off and the subsequent soil erosion. Bryophytes such as moss are also ecologically important as, along with lichens, they are always the first to colonize rocks. Moreover, they decompose the rocks and make the area suitable for the growth of higher plants. Thus we have seen that bryophytes have several uses.